Welcome to Timoteo TV preview of week seven. Man, mm, the season has flown by. I can't believe we're already in week seven. Um, as uh, most, mo- most of you know, uh, week six was you know a great week, great matchups. Uh, but week seven, there's a lot of a lot of important games, so uh, it'll be good. And we're gonna get to uh, get to those here in a second. But uh, let me show who I got here as usual. Buddy Martinez, coach of the Packers. Chris Lahr, coach of the Panthers, uh, as usual. Supposed to have uh, Coach uh, Hector from the Vikings this week, but um, after that, just beat down by the Eagles. He's he's yeah. just doing bad. I don't think he's went into work I don't know this where week. He's at. Yeah, I, uh, we, we he's, he's in bad shape. So we're yeah. we're praying for you, Hector. Pray for Heck. We, Come back. We hope we hope yeah you'll be okay, and hopefully we'll see you on Saturday. So we're, we're thinking about you, man. Yeah. But enough of the sentimental stuff. Here we go. This is the last week of Justice versus Peace this season, right? Um, yeah. And Justice has not not done well. I know you had some high hopes this year for yeah, them, I did, but I did. I got but uh, you know, is, are they this week going to do anything? And is it going to start with your Panthers and the Vikings at three o'clock? You know, you guys five and one Vikings, three and three. Yeah. What's going to happen? I'm I'm proud of the Panthers. I mean, our goal was to be five and three. Look, we're already five and one. Uh, I was. Uh, uh, th- this past week, they were on all cylinders. I mean, they won fifty-seven to seven. I mean, I, I never saw a beatdown like that from from a squad, and, and it was amazing to see even the B squad take it to them. Um, but I remember when, when we were coaching the, the Packers our first year, right? And it seemed like every year you have one of these games where we're, we're playing an inferior opponent, but yet we only have half the team show up. Then we end up getting a bus kicked. And so, uh, unfortunately, I've just found out that's what's going to happen this week. Uh, I think we, we are a better team than the Vikings, but probably not this week. I, I, I just found out that Burlocker is going to be gone, our quarterback. Uh, it looks like Jose is going to be gone, which is our middle linebacker, shutting it down. George could be gone, who's our, our, our interception leader. Uh, and and it's Dimitri could be gone, our second tackler. So our defense is going to be a shell of what it normally is. They're going to be looking like... You know, Vikings are going to look good this week. Uh, and our, and our, our our offense could be struggling. But that said, I, I think that we may lose the battle, but we will win the war. We're going to come back strong the, the next week. Uh, now, the Vikings are interesting. Um, they only have three wins. They need one more win, and they're guaranteed a spot. But in reality, I think they could even lose out. Because next week, after they play us, they're going to be playing the Raiders. All right? And so if they lose out, Packers. the good thing – they're the Packers? Oh, the yeah. Packers. That's right, the Packers, the Packers. And, and, and if they beat, they lose to the Packers, and if they would lose us, they can still get in. But if they get in, right, it's because of the tiebreaker over the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. And the chances are, if they get in, they would probably get in as an eighth seed, which would mean they would have to play the Packers a first seed two weeks in a row. And again, it seems like the same thing over and over for the Packers. Every year, they play the same team twice. They beat them in the regular season. Postseason comes, and then there's trouble. So... There's some crazy things going on. Huge game for the Vikings. I think the Vikings pull, find a way to pull this one out as the Panthers are on by this week. And the Vikings win 25-6. to six. All right, 25-6. You going to stand up for the Panthers since uh, Chris doesn't believe in them this week? Well, I mean, the Panthers, I mean, they just been on fire. I mean, they, they are a legitimate team. I mean, they are... United over there as a pan- Panther Nation for sure over there. They, you know, and, and everyone's pulling for each other. Even when the second team comes in, they're a high explosive team. I mean, they, I mean, I, I just I've never seen the Panthers like that ever. You know what I mean? So so kudos to the coaches and the players out there for doing well. Uh, they're gonna be a little shorthanded this week before I'm finding out from Chris breaking news. But I still think that that uh, you know they can still compete against the Vikings. Now the Vikings were on a hot streak. You know what I mean? Uh, and then they ran into the Eagles who just seemed to be a little bit hotter, uh, and they laid an egg, you know mm. what I mean? But that's not Viking style of football. The Vikings don't give up that many points. Leroy and Eagles were just on fire. You know, mm. now I know Shaq, the commentator, was watching from the sideline because he decided he had to go to a wedding, you know what I mean? And they mm. thought they can beat the Eagles without him. But, uh, but I think they'll be here full strength. Uh, the Vikings defense, I, I, I think that was just a shell of what they, they are. Mm. And I think that they can uh, they can definitely come back this week and, and play Viking ball. Now, on the other side, the Panthers, I mean, even even with two of the Fantastic Four missing, I still think that they, they're unstoppable right now. I just think that the, 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 the streak that they're on, they can't be beat. So I don't know. Even with everything going good for the Vikings, I don't know if they can uh, 
they can beat the Panthers right now in the road. It seems like every ball is bouncing their way. Uh, and, and I'm going to have to say that the Panthers will win a close one, 26-22, to 22, beating the second contender uh, and making themselves official. Definitely a threat in the playoffs. Wow, wow. All right, so you got a, you got a, a justice team win in there. So see what happens. Our other 3 o'clock game, <clears throat> Colts-Cowboys. Both teams also really need this mm-hmm. win. Colts to solidify a spot. I mean, they definitely got more to lose here in the Cowboys desperation mode, right? Like, who, who would have thought that a two-time Urban Bowl champion may not make the playoffs the next year with still a lot of talent there, yeah. you know? What do you think, Chris? Well, like I said, I think it's time for a name change, right? Uh, that's all this is, is a name change. And they did it to themselves. I guarantee you, next year they switch their names to the Seahawks. They'll be back in the grade eight. I'm just saying it. You do what you want to do. The Colts pulled off their second big shocker of the year. This I mean, they beat the 49ers, which was an absolute shock. I would say it's just as shocking that they beat the uh, Cardinals. Uh, unbelievable. I think what they've done is they, they've solidified themselves. Because no matter what, this week isn't that big a deal for the Colts. Because next week, they have the Jets. And you know the Jet factor, right? Now, that would be embarrassing if they lose to the Jets and end up not getting in. But I just don't see how it's going to be happening because they win every other week. Uh, so uh, the boys, they have their backs against the wall. Not only are they have only two wins, but they have some very important tiebreakers that they're on the, the low side of. So I, I just think it's going to be uh, – I, I think the, the wind is out of their sail. And, and the Cowboys are in a very uh, tough predicament. Uh, with that said, I think the, this week this is going to be the last win of the year for the boys. I think they do find a way to uh, pull a win over the Colts because the Colts are going to be like, hey, we got the Jets next week, so uh, we're ready for the grade eight where everybody's 0 0. But I think the boys win this one 25 19. All right, buddy, what do you got? Well, uh, I played the Cowboys last week, and uh, the Cowboys were definitely shorthanded. Uh, seemed like a couple of their players decided not to come, you know, uh, and, uh, and they're just a different team when they don't have all their players there. Uh, so, uh, so I'm not sure, you know, what the Cowboys are. Again, I mean, I still think they're one of the most talented teams in the league. Uh, the one thing they did show a little bit was a little bit of heart. I mean, they didn't give up against the Packers, even though they were short-handed. They continued to play the best that they could, uh, and, uh, end up even kind of getting a little momentum at the end of the game, scoring some points. Um, so... So the Cowboys, but the Cowboys are a different team if Nude isn't there. You know what I mean? If Superman isn't there, they're a different team. So, you know, Superman was out, you know what I mean, at the Public League uh, uh, All-Star game over there. Uh, and uh, and they, definitely, they definitely needed them this last week. Now, the Colts, the Colts, you know, I, they look like they're for real. And I don't know if it's an every other week thing over here, mm-hmm. but the Colts, I mean, if they play the way they played last week, they're unstoppable. I think mm-hmm. offensively now, defensively, they still got to step it up. But yeah. this past week, they only gave up 26 points, which might have been the lowest number of points for all season long. So if they can get defense and offense together, they're so scary. Now, the last week before, Sharif was not there. And if you guys don't know Sharif, he's the big tower they throw to in the end mm-hmm. zone. Now, this week he was there, and it opened it up for the other players because the Cardinals had to shut down the rest of the players. So it opened it up for Sharif and Chris, you know what I mean? Now, Stefan, he seemed like to be in another rhythm again. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I think this week they're going to keep it rolling, you know what I mean? And I got them winning this game 31-30, to 30. you know, beating a champion. That's how much I respect. They got them beating the champions by one. But if Newt shows up, I got the Cowboys winning 31-30. Oh, all right. Ooh. He's that difference maker. Huh? He is right. definitely Superman. that difference maker. Superman. Superman. All right, all right. <laughs> so let's um, uh, let's touch on one more game here. Uh, four thirty. We have another game, similar situation. Cardinals mm-hmm. two and four. Forty Nine ers three and three. So uh, another big playoff matchup here, trying to fight for a spot. Um, what's going to happen? Chris? I'm just shocked. I have no idea how the Cardinals are two and four with the squad that they have. Yeah. I, I'm just I'm, I'm puzzled. I, I, I there's no question. Now the thing is they can still get in. They have to win this week, and next week will be a very important game. If they beat the Panthers next week, they they're in, right? So it's not they they can't just give up and fold. The 49ers on the other hand, this game is the one they need to win because next week they play the Eagles, and the Eagles I would say they're on the hot streak. Yeah. They're one of the the, the big dangerous. four in the league. They're one of the hottest teams right now. It seemed. Years ago, that they were uh, on the bottom, right? And but now they were sort of the bottom. Now they're here, right? So so anyway, the the Cardinals. The thing is, there's a difference between tackle football and football smarts like that, and and, and flag football. 
And I think they have a lot of football players, but, but they haven't transferred into the flag football realm. And I think there's a distinction I see there. And, and one of the things is playing defense. They got to learn to play defense in the Timoteo flag football way. You look at their stats consistently over the years. They're always at the lowest at the defense. They have to learn to play Timoteo football. Watch the other division. Watch the Panthers, how they're doing it. Watch, that's what you need to do and emulate. You do that, you'll be one of the elite teams in the league. Yeah. But until you do that, you'll continually miss the playoffs and just barely get in and lose first round. I have 49ers coming up because it's a must win for them because they will not win against the Eagles next week. They're going to win this game 32-27. to 32-27. Whew. 32-27. Buddy. Well, uh, the Cardinals, I mean, I just don't, I don't know what kind of team they are yet. You know what I mean? I still haven't been able to figure it out. It looks like the ball always bounces the other way in the other team's favor. Uh, the 49ers, I mean, they played us. They gave us our toughest competition all year, the Packers, and then they played the Raiders. And look like, uh, you know, they belong in the other division. Yeah. So I don't know what happened with Felix and that offense there. But I think the big matchup in this game is, I mean, one, you know, the Cardinals have their back against the wall. This is a must win yeah, for them. Uh, but, you know, you have RG4 going against Freddie, uh, sacker of the uh, the 49ers. Uh, and, and that's going to be a good that's matchup. Good uh, Freddie, uh, you know, he has tied the record this last week. He has 22 sacks. He needs one to break. You know what I mean? I always – I enjoy kids when they do break records, but I don't like them breaking it on me. Mm -hmm. So if I'm, I'm RG4, I'm doing the best to get rid of that ball. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, and if he can continue to make smart decisions, mm -hmm. then I think that they have a chance in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but I don't know if, if – I think the 49ers just have too much offense. I mean, Dave, uh, he's coming in on – I thought there would be an unbreakable record, Misael. Uh, David has 179 catches. Uh, Misao's record is 185, uh, so he needs six to tie, seven to break, and it could definitely do it this week. Yeah, this week. Uh, so, uh, especially against card defense, especially against the Cardinals defense. Yeah, you know, done. Tom, yeah, Tom <laughs> needs needs to get that defense going. That's their middle linebacker out there, uh, and and, and uh, RG4 just got to continue to give the ball to his playmakers. Uh, and, and I just think, you know, with all that talent over there and they're back against the wall, the, the Cardinals can make this a game. Yeah. Not, 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 at, at no means that I've seen them defeated this last week. Their hopes were still a little high. Uh, the quarterback, uh, RG4, uh, he even told me, he said, next week we're going to get it together. Yeah. So I'm believing in him. Now, I now. believe that he's going to get it together. And I got the Cardinals pulling off an upset here, wow. saving their playoff hopes here, winning 27-26. Wow. All right. You're really pulling for the uh, Justice Division this week. That's huh? how I see it. All right. Well, uh, thanks for joining us. We'll be right back with our last three games. We'll see you in a little bit.